Mr. Montgomery? Oh, uh, you know, I was just uh, taking a look at the... Uh, what's up? Your father's lawyers are here. Okay, then. Send them to the conference room. I already did, sir. Right. Great. Also, Mr. Montgomery, your brother called again. Crap. What now? Well, he invited you and your family for dinner tonight, and... We're not going. I will let him know. Thank you, Aaron. Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? No. Yes. Stop acting so nervous. Yes, sir. You can go now. Jesus Christ. Hello. Mr. Montgomery, thank you for taking this meeting with us. I'm Don Michelson, and these are my partners, Kevin Whitrick and Meredith Sloan. Of course. So, the will here... Me and Michelson, Whitrick, and Sloan want to express our deepest condolences at the death of your father. Thank you. Now, as for the will... Old J.C. was a dear man. Always asked about the wife and the kids. Never missed a birthday. Never. Yes, well, you know, that was good old dad. So, about the will... Hard to believe he's been gone six months. I feel like he was just in my office yesterday, just sitting there, giving me marriage advice. Be nice to the girls, Wittrick, he'd say. What a charmer. I miss him so much. Oh, for heaven's sake, he wasn't a damn saint. Can we get to the will already? May he rest in, in, in peace, of course. Of course. Well, as you know, your father had sizable assets, some of which were promised to charity, some to close friends, some to cherished employees, you know, the usual. And then we get to the family. As the elder of his two children, you, Mr. Montgomery, are in line to be in charge of the approximately $6 billion set aside for the family. Your father did write a very nice statement about the family in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, my elder son, Stephen, will take control of the remaining assets to be divided amongst the family, including his son, Blake, a playfully charming young man. My friends, or uh, whoever you are, today is quite the day in the life of Blake Montgomery. It's allowance day. I got laid and I got paid. Those two things can't possibly be connected. Nope, but drinks are on me. Another beer. I'll have a chocolate milk. I'm a lightweight. As well as his second wife, Rebecca, an absolute darling with a heart of gold, and their daughter, Jacqueline, a young lady who is beautiful both inside and out. Ugh, this is stunning. I like this one better. Oh. Both. Wonderful. I'll just put these with your selections over here. Your father's going to ask about the bill when he sees it. No, he isn't. I have his business manager's direct line. Really? I'll just call him, tell him to expect the bill, and Dad will never know we went shopping today. Excellent. And of course, Jacqueline's twin brother, Dominic, whose honorable nature and sincerity continues to make me smile every day. Okay, ladies, we get it. Everyone loves Dominic. Well, Chad, start golfing like you've held the club before, and maybe they'll be all over you. Fine, Montgomery. You want to be that way? See you at the ninth hole. Come on, gang. Let's move. As well as his brother, Philip, and Philip's family, I expect Stephen will handle the estate with the same brilliance he used to build and raise this exceptional family. Well, that settles that. Not so fast, Mr. Montgomery. About a year ago, your father wrote to us in concern. I beg your pardon? After years of close observation of my son Stephen and his family, I fear for the future of my estate if it remains in his hands. I hope it doesn't come to this, but here is a nuclear option. If Stephen... If, is there a second page to this? Oh, yeah, uh, found it. 
If Stephen is unable to prove within three months from the date of my will reading that he is responsible enough to handle my estate, I will have no choice but to pass control to Philip, a genuine and good man. Responsible enough? I'm running half my father's business and I'm not responsible enough? Mr. Montgomery, your father was concerned that your family's lifestyle was a bit lavish, uh, excessive even. He thought I was excessive? He appreciated that Philip and his family were more down to earth. Homie. The billionaire's next door. So basically, I have three months to prove that my family at snobs isn't snobby, and then I get my money. Yeah, that's right. So now's the time to shape up, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. See you in three months. Philip. Is this your urn with dad's ashes? I always wondered if one of us got the head and the other one got the ass. Or do you think Beach got a little both? Uh, I, I never really thought about that. So Aaron tells me that you're not coming for dinner tonight. Yeah, well, you know, we have a few things. And to think, I was going to get to have dinner with my brother and his family on my birthday. Your, your birthday? Steve, <laughs> you've always been such a jokester. Uh, listen, Philip, you know, I met with Dad's lawyers and... Yeah, I'm supposed to do that, too, in about three months. Three months? There's something in the will that needs to be settled first, um, but I'm sure you know all about it, don't you, Mr. Patriarch? <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, we're really gonna miss you tonight, brother. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You know, wait, Philip. It's Tuesday, isn't it? You know, you know what? I got my dates mixed up. I, it turns out that we are available tonight. Works for us. We'll be there. All five of you? Yes, sir. You just tell us uh, what time. Seven. We'll see you tonight. I, I'm so excited. I get to have my big brother there to celebrate my birthday. This is going to be the best night ever. Was your brother all right, sir? He seemed kind of strange on his way out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I guess people get excited about their birthdays. Mm. You knew it was his birthday. Of course, sir. I used to send your dad's birthday cards every year. Uh, well, you know, you could have warned me. Aaron, get American Express online to my office. Of course, sir. Hello? Yes, this is Stephen Montgomery. I'd like to put a hold on a few authorized users. Excuse me, Ms. Montgomery, but your credit card isn't working. Well, then fix it. I called American Express. They say your card has been suspended. That's not possible. Unfortunately, it is. In the meantime. Oh, don't you dare. <gasps> uh, Mr. Montgomery, I'm so sorry, but you can't finish this whole I didn't do anything. You've had your club account temporarily suspended. I... What? Guys, come on. Tough break, dude. Uh, we're gonna have to ask you to leave, Mr. Montgomery. Oh, come on. Marquis, close my tag. Sure. Sorry, man. Perhaps you got late and paid, but your car's declined. How is that possible? Look, man, we'll let it slide this time. It's okay. No, it is dead. I knew you ain't getting laid. Well, 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 my family. To what do I owe the pleasure? Stephen, Jacqueline and I had our champagne taken away at Prada. Mom's black card was cut up. I was escorted off the golf course at the club just before beating the club record. This old guy at the bar accused me of lying about getting laid. Listen, everyone. Tonight is Philip's birthday, and we need to go over there for dinner. What? Why? You want me 
to eat dinner with Kathy the country bumpkin? We have to make small talk with his idiot kids. The only talk you make is small talk. Oh, Philip is such a weirdo. He kept watching me at Grandpa's funeral like I was going to steal something from the casket. <laughs> Joke's on him because I walked out with a couple of Grandpa's gold teeth. Oh, no, Blake, you didn't. Sure did. I'm even wearing them right now. Steven, I've seen my black card cut up and I've had my champagne taken away today. I can't possibly handle any more trauma. Fine. Then I guess you won't be too upset when I tell my business manager to, I don't know, stop hiding your bills? I, I mean, um... Oh, sure. Dominic, you can laugh now, but I'll be more than happy to tell Chad Douglas all about your new illegal driver. How did you... And Blake. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell it is that you do with your free time, but... You know, if you don't play nice, you won't be getting your monthly allowance check. You can't do that, Dad. I can, and I will. We leave at 6.30. Seriously, Blake, you stole a dead man's teeth? Yeah, well, what's he going to use them for? I still don't get why we all had to be here. Jacqueline, if you can't put on an $800 dress and $500 pair of shoes and go to someone's house and do a favor for your father one time, then you're not going to be able to pay for that $800 dress. Ooh, somebody's in trouble. I haven't reinstated your club card yet, Dominic. Ooh, somebody's in trouble. Shut up, both of you. You're here! Kathy! David! Chris! They're here! Come on in! Finally! Some estrogen in this joint! I am so sick of all this testosterone. I mean, it's like every day is a dick measuring contest around here. You know what I mean? I can't say that I do. So, Bex, it's been a while. I guess it has, just the way I like it. That's some dress you got there. Oh, thank you. It's Chanel. You know, it even makes it look like you got tits! <laughs> Charming, Kathy. <laughs> Dominic, do you have our gift for Uncle Philip? Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, thank you. It's from our vineyard in Napa. Actually, I'm teetotal now. Really? Oh, I must say, I'm very impressed. I mean, you boys don't know this, but but your dad, oh, he really used to knock him back in his day. <laughs> Are you all teetotal? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Now, I'm actually working with Usher right now to build his alcohol brand. Right, because what everyone wants is an overpriced bottle of sink water from some t early 2000s icon and a rich idiot who thinks he's hot stuff. <laughs> Chris is our jokester. He just keeps us in stitches. So, Jax. Jacqueline. Sure, sure. You got the same uh, stick up your ass your mother has? No, Kathy. That's not much fun. I agree. Or practical, frankly. I'd rather carry it to hit idiots when they ask ridiculous questions. Oh, that's my blueberry pie! Time for dinner, everyone! You know, it's really kind of crazy. Blake, Dominic, Jacqueline, I feel like I barely know any of you. Don't worry. It's mutual. No, really. I, I really don't know anything about you kids. I mean, who are you? What What are your interests? Well, I like to shop. And I like travel and... We love to travel. We've taken some great trips over the years, haven't we, guys? We really have. Remember when we drove across the country a few years ago? Oh, <sighs> that trip was something else. Staying in little motels along the way eating in greasy spoons. 
It was even proof that David's hair can look terrible, too. <laughs> I get it. And it was only more fun because we were together. Sorry. Just remember the good old days. I'm, I'm sure you guys have plenty of family trip stories. We did go to Rio. That was just us, Mom. No, it wasn't. We were with... Marla and Tiffany. Girls trip. Well, what about the wine country? That was you, me, Dominic, and Grandma. Dad was in the hospital. The time I tore my rotator cuff, you told me your mother was sick. Well, Stephen, anyone that's ever met my mother knows that woman's so desperately sick in the head. Have we ever even traveled together? Of course we have. Come on, kids. Remember Russia? I didn't go to Russia. Yes, you did. But no, actually, he didn't. You went to nerd camp. Fantasy fan camp is not nerd camp. Sure. I didn't get to go to Russia either, Blake. I had to do summer school, and my celebration was supposed to be a week in Iceland. But Dad didn't bother to take me to Iceland. So basically, Jacqueline got to go to Russia, and Rio, and wine country, and all I got was six weeks of band camp? And I didn't get to go to Iceland. You guys suck at family vacations. Oh, Philip. Feel you know the kids a little bit better now? Did anyone else notice that Kathy had a piece of lettuce hanging out of her teeth for half the dinner? I know, so gross. I totally thought they were starting to judge us when they started talking about how Chris and David had jobs. Seriously, it's not like they even have good jobs. Yeah, I mean, Blake is a vice president in a dad's company. Yeah, and it's not like I had to go out and work for it or anything. Jacqueline, I have to move our manicures for tomorrow. Oh, Mom, why? My cuticles are practically screaming for help. Because I need a massage after sitting all night in those stiff chairs. That sounds good, actually. Hey, can I get a massage? I could see if there's an appointment for three. And, uh, what about me? Blake, when you learn to use the front door instead of the doggy door, then we can talk about taking you to get a massage. Oh, pardon my decision to use a perfectly valid smaller entrance to the house, Queen Rebecca. We never had a dog, Blake. We put the doggy door in for you. Damn it, stop it, you vapid idiots. Can't you go a single moment without thinking about yourselves? Family meeting in the living room. I didn't tell you for the whole truth earlier. I met with my father's estate lawyers this morning. Cool, what did we get? Dominic, you insensitive twit. Sure, like you weren't thinking it. Here's the deal. In three months, my dad's lawyers are going to decide if I'm fit to manage the estate. How are they making that decision? Well, basically, they're going to look at our family, our lifestyles, and if they like what they see, I'm good. If they don't, Philip supersedes me and gets control of the estate. Now, I don't think any of you get what it, what it is that's about to happen here, but if we can't get it together, we're screwed. We won't be billionaires anymore. What's someone who isn't a billionaire? A millionaire. But what's someone who isn't a millionaire? An alienaire. Or maybe just a, an heir? Like we're one of dad's heirs? No, you nitwit. That's a completely different word. We would just be <gasps> regular people. <gasps> Great. Now you think about that tonight when you're trying to sleep. People are hopeless. And, 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 and you know what? You know what? I don't know what's worse. The fact that, that you four can't pretend to be decent people for one night or that Philip and his family are actually decent people every day.
Hello. Hey, Dad, check this out. What the hell am I looking at? Well, after you left last night, the four of us got to talking. I was thinking, so say we don't pass the lawyer's review. What if Uncle Philip doesn't either? Then I had a brilliant idea. And I said that I couldn't believe that someone with three brain cells and a room temperature IQ could possibly have any ideas. 98.6 is normal, dingus. Perhaps three brain cells was a generous assessment. Children, please. Dominic, tell your father what you told us. What if we made Philip and his family look so bad that we looked really good by comparison? They have secrets, and they're going to get sloppy with them. Like, look at Chris. I was watching him at dinner last night. They weren't laughing with him. They were laughing at him. So you're saying that we get to know them? Learn about their weaknesses? And crush them like the ant farm Blake insisted on buying. Re Rebecca, you were the one that crushed my ant farm? Oh, oh, no, honey. It was the earthquake. What earthquake? The... The one that hit just our street? That's the one that destroyed the sneaker collection I was building in Dad's closet, right? Uh, yes. We just have to be creative. Get to know them a little, act like we care. We have to be smarter than they are. Or, or at least pretend to be. You know, Dominic. Maybe you have a little bit of the old family smarts in there after all. I'm in. Okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Just remember to play it cool. I'm looking at you, Dominic. I'm cooler than a kumquat. Cucumber. Actually, genius, I think Dominic's right. Who wants to be a cool cucumber? That one involves you. Ethan! Hold up! You seem chipper this morning. Wow, Gio, it's a great morning. Listen, I just wanted to thank you for coming over for my birthday last night. I mean, it meant so much to all of us to have you there. How could we possibly miss it? Listen, we wanted to invite you over to say Thursday? Thursday sounds good. I'll let you know before the end of the day. Thanks. I'm glad we're getting the families together now. The, the fun is really just beginning, I guess. <laughs>